Bridie and Jacinta. Bridie and Jacinta. The only two women that have spoken in this play. Typical. Two frightened women who didn't want to upset the British troops in Dublin. Boo hoo hoo. There's more to us than just Bridie and Jacinta. Now, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Yeah, worried about the shops and the buildings and the state of the city. Cross with the Irish leaders and their followers. Bridie and Jacinta. I suppose they went home, cooked the dinner and cleaned their kitchens. Now, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Yeah, and reading from the proclamation, it says... <clears throat> the Irish public is entitled to, and hereby claims the allegiance, of every Irish man and Irish woman. The Republic guarantees religious and civil liberty, equal rights and equal opportunities to all of its citizens, and declares its resolve to pursue the happiness and prosperity of the whole nation and of all of its parts, cherishing all of the children of the nation equally. So now, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Yeah, more than 100 of us took part directly in the Rising. We were members of a Republican organisation called Coming to Mon. We had our own constitution with an explicit commitment to the use of force against arms against Crown forces in Ireland. Now, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Helena Maloney here. I was an actress and a journalist. I was also secretary to James Connolly during my time in the labour movement. I was one of the citizen army soldiers that attacked Dublin Castle. During the attack, my commanding officer, Sean Connolly, was killed and I was captured and imprisoned in Kilmainham Jail. I'll never forget Kilmainham Jail. It was like the black hole of Calcutta. It was an awful, dirty, gloomy little place. Now, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Constance Markovich here. I was one of the first women in the world to hold a cabinet position as Minister for Labour in the Irish Republic. I was involved in sniper attacks on British troops along with other female fighters. I shot dead a policeman near St. Stephen's Green. Now, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Molly Childers here. I was part of a crew on board the Asgard yacht. We were serious about making preparations for an attack on British forces. We were willing to risk our lives so that our brave soldiers, male and female, were well prepared for war. Now, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Margaret Skinner here. Born in Ireland, grew up in Scotland. I served as a scout, dispatch rider, sniper and raider. I served under commandment Michael Mallon near Grafton Street. As I rode along on my bicycle, I had my first taste of the risks of street fighting. Soldiers on the top of the Hotel Shelburne aimed their machine guns directly at me. Bullets struck the wooden rim of my bicycle wheels, puncturing it. Others rattled along the metal rim or among the spokes. I knew one might strike me at any moment, so I rode as fast as I could. My speed saved my life, and I was soon out of range around the corner. Now, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Sheila van Ionica here. We were present in all of the rebel strongholds in Dublin, bar one. Eamon de Valera apparently refused, in defiance of the orders of Pierce and Connolly, to allow women fighters into Boland's Mills. The results, I believe, was that the garrison there didn't stand up to the siege as well as the other posts. Now, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Elizabeth O'Farrell here. 
Padraig Pierce selected me to present the surrender to the British authorities. I dodged sniper fire and dealt with aggressive British authorities while crisscrossing the city trying to convince the rising leaders that the decision to surrender was genuine. Now, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Rose McNamara here. We could have evaded arrest. But we marched down far deep in uniform, along with the men. And an attempt was made to get us to sign a statement, recanting our stand. But us girls were having none of it. I myself went down to the British commanding officer, and I explained that we were part of the rebel contingent and were surrendering along with the lads. So now, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Brady and Jacinta. Brady and Jacinta. I don't think so. Just making cups of tea and sandwiches. I don't think so. We played our part just like our male counterparts. Airbrushed out of history. I don't think so. Now. Well, but that's that's